This morning, by the grace of God, we will be looking at a topic titled The Cross is a Mighty Declaration, Romans 3.25 Whom God has set free, has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in His blood to declare His righteousness for the remission of sin that are passed through the forbearance of God. The cross is a mighty declaration. And what it says is this. The song is the propitiation that is. It is the medium. It is a means. It is, it is the scapegoat. It is a servant order for the sin. In other words, God on the cross was punishing Seeing, he said that he would, and he has done it. God has always said that sin is to be punished, that his holy wrath is upon it, and that he cannot deal with sin in any other terms. And he said, and he has done exactly what he promised. On the cross, he is doing it publicly. There is, there is. Once and for all, at the central point of history, pouring out his wrath upon the sin of man in the body of his own son, he is striking him, he is smiting him, he is command, condemning him to death. Christ died, and his blood speak. It is damning him to death. Christ died, his blood speaks. It is God's punishment of sin and evil. It is a mighty declaration that God has done what he has always said he would do. Namely, that he will punish sin and the wages of sin is death. And there you, and there you see it happening upon the cross. It is, an, it is an announcement, a proclamation that this is God's way of dealing with the problem of sin. I hasten to say this. It is obviously the only way to deal with sin and the cross says there was no other good enough to pay the price of sin. He only could unlock the gate of heaven and let us in. That is according to Mrs. That is in the world of Mrs. F.C. Mrs. C.F. Alexander. It is not surprising that the gospel of the cross and the blood of Christ have produced some of the greatest poetry the world has ever known. Today, the mighty, the cross is a mighty declaration that we all should celebrate. Today, this is a thought you should pardon upon. You should reason to think about the cross is an announcement, a proclamation that this is God's way of dealing with the problem of sin. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your unfailing, unfailing patience towards us, your children. We pray, O oh Lord, that you will strengthen us because we are mortal, full of weakness. Lord, we pray that you will help us to be strong as we continually believe in your word in Jesus name Lord as we step out of the home today Lord we pray that you will give us the right lead towards the right direction towards the right things of life that we will not be victims of situation Lord we pray this morning that you will help us to be strong and delighted in your word and services. Lord, we thank you, O oh God, for everything you have done for us continuously. Lord, we pray for the blessings of the day to go with us abundantly in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Don't forget to join me tomorrow for another exhortation like this. Then I remember humble sir Joshua Osatoa. Join me tomorrow and stay blessed.